back there. Uh, does this do the whole 50, whatever no, it is? No, this is 15 feet, and this board should be 16. Could, could this thing end up being their 54 or whatever is in there? Yeah, and then, 53. And and then? Yeah. No, they didn't have an end to end. They had a piece section to section. Oh, oh okay. And we did I wonder it. if at this point we leave it till next week. Here's the arrow assembly. Aero carport storage <laughs> assembly. <laughs> can I see that? Can I see that paper again? Huh? Yes. <laughs> this is what the folks have been working on today. Yeah. So we've got base size constructed here. Hopefully it looks like that when we're done. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, um, Thought I'd just drop in this morning to see how my friends got along with the construction of their carport. These are the two base sides, one each sitting on a board 16 feet long that have been leveled into the ground. These will then be lag bolted onto the boards. And then the structure is also tied down with weights on each corner, I believe. When I left yesterday, they were going to start assembling the side walls and cross and roof sections, which go into these post areas here. So you can see there's four of them along the length of this structure on each side. So it looks like they got a couple sections put together. They're made out of five different sections of two inch steel tubing square steel tubing and they're put together with an interesting approach using self-tapping hex screws here two in each area and there'd be two on the other side as well so you can see this section is a leg and then there's this curved section of the roof side and then there's a peak a small section for the peak of the roof then the same down the other side and here are the remaining pieces to go together for the other two sections and then the roof sections which are all pre-drilled and then they will be attached in the same fashion i believe just re-leveling some of the base boards here the other ones, when we were, you remember when we were measuring them, we had to leave that three and a quarter right. inch sticking out. Um, this time, thank goodness, we could just fit them all together. So it makes it a lot easier. Just set that there. What we did last time was we drilled, we drilled one piece, added a leg, added a part. Of it. Here we go. Here's the third section put together. Last one. One more, and then we try to get them up on the base supports. And we're just trying to level the boards here to within a thousandth of an inch of level. <laughs> Uh -oh. <laughs> and, and then we have to level them from side to side, which will be a whole new, uh, yep. whole new which extravaganza. Have we done it three times and it's still the same spot? Like Somewhere here. Let's try it centered, maybe a bit more. That's okay. Yeah, yeah, that's centered. The so, tape's just down there. So my tape measure, okay. And then uh, how far so, do we go to the edge? It should. Yeah, edge? I want to see that we got our trenchina because. One thing that I missed last time, and I'll show you. Yeah, we, um, we started by digging trenches, and then we followed step one, bit by bit, putting all the parts together. And then we noticed that it told us nine and nine feet, eight and five sixteenths of an inch exactly. across. And uh, we wish this had been earlier on, like a step zero, just so that we would have dug our trenches, not to the yeah. 10 foot dimensions that it says, but Maybe to that one there.
Yeah. They assume it's going yeah. on a flat driveway, so it doesn't really matter. So it doesn't <laughs> matter, yeah. You don't need to know it until the end. They don't know that we're... So should I go to the... Yeah, you go from... Just goes to show you that writing an instruction booklet takes some skills as well. Although it's pretty good overall. overall. Yeah, Mike's, or yeah, Mike says it's pretty good overall. I'm just coming over to check the level of this board here. First try, look at that. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> I think it's square on. <laughs> oh, that looks pretty good. <laughs> if only the other one was that close. <laughs> I'll yeah, just say too, when when they were digging this trench out originally, they found a little tree frog about an inch long that was under the ground here. Unfortunately, so we had to move it off and try and semi bury it under some leaf litter over by the tree so hopefully it survived okay he's still sleeping yeah these guys aren't parallel oh. Oh, todd this is not where you want to be filming <laughs> <laughs> carolyn's big mistake uh, maybe we should square the boards here comes the last section the fourth section of the carport yeah. They've been going on pretty well, and they stand quite stiffly on their own. Yeah. Wow, that was easy. Yeah. So easy, day well two. Done. That still has to go down a little bit. Not much, but there we go. There it is, folks. Aero storage products. <laughs> These are the final screws in the base, and they've been a bit of a pig to get in, but... I think everything on YouTube was pre-drilling and then they'd film the part where it just sinks in. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Wow. Yeah, this... <laughs> This is the reality of putting together a carport. Here are the various roof segments that will go on eventually. We're still bolting the main structure together, the upright post to the base pieces. We're just finishing that up and now we're lag bolting the metal base to the boards. Lag screwing, sorry. Show the other side of this here that you can spin around. Go up. Yeah, there you go. A little close, eh? Nobody else coming. Almost. The wind is wild up here today. We just had a big tree crash in this direction a few minutes ago. We'll be lucky if we get out of here alive today. <laughs> so we were starting to put the peak roof sections on and we're noticing some misalignment issues. And I think what's happening is the, maybe the two side boards are not exactly at the same height as each other. Ooh, geez. Um, when you look straight down the line here, the peaks are not quite lined up with each other. So that makes it hard to put the roof segments on. So we're trying to maybe tie off different posts in different directions to try to account for that. This is always hard when you're working on uh, natural substrate instead of poured level cement or poured level asphalt. Oh, another tree falling down. Crazy wind here.
So we just re-leveled this left side board because we found that the left wall here was too low compared to the other wall. So we've raised it up about two inches on the front. And the back actually had to go up about four inches. It's not 10 over yet though. That That's kind of center. Okay. I don't know if it makes sense. Looks centered to... on this side. Yeah, I don't know how to get a little dot to say like this is our center. So most people put up their structures apparently in a day. Ours sat overnight. It poured rain last night and it got really, really dirty and there's a windstorm and stuff blew around. So I'm just getting some of the dirt and debris off. So we're getting these center ridge pieces put in and we're having to manually align the trusses here, these black sections with the roof just to straighten them out a bit forcibly align forcibly align and then hopefully once those are in place we the side pieces will go up easier some small tweaks yeah <laughs> that's all um i'm a, i'm applying a tape which i guess serves as a bit of a water barrier and helps hold the hold the panels together so i'll be putting that over here and then i'll punch little holes so i know where our holes are and uh, i'm just kind of looking at this and uh kind of glad I don't live in California because after all this mess I really don't want to get cancer on top of it. It's a lot easier to do this on the ground than up on the roof. It's kind of like a gummy stuff. Like caulking, yeah basically it's just roll, a right? sealant to help prevent rain com coming in. Oops. Okay, so we're on to the last one. So I'll be one of the two up holding stuff in place from the top. And I can never seem to find where to put my ladder. So this might be the ladder dance. That looks too far. It's like the ladder waltz. See if we get it on the first one. Yeah, time. I don't know. I got it on the eighth try last time. Oh my goodness, I might almost have it. Is it I good? think I got it on. Oh no, I have to be a little bit further back. Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm getting close. Last time it took me, what, six attempts? This project's all about adjustments. It's all about minor adjustments. Watch out for the juniper. I'm going to put something. You're stepping on it. I know. You're going to be pushing this though when I'm up there. Just see if you got it in the right spot. Yeah, that's true. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, I feel like from here, yeah, okay, we're good for Todd to come up and for Mike to force the uh, the last beam. Okay. The centers, and it's going to be the same, but there are nine panels, and the last ones kind of bend a little bit. So I feel like even if we can get these panels starting to work through forcing. A lot yeah. of forcing, a lot of good enough. Yeah, we're not going to get a rainstorm. And a plus, a, a plus, or yeah. B minus. <laughs> you could put um, tar on it if you needed to. Oh yeah, yeah, we have some of that if it leaks. See, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, and we had asked Todd about how um, what Isaac's schedule was because we thought, oh, if we get all the the carport installed yesterday and yeah, I realized that was very optimistic <laughs> two feet and it's got high in iron remember my mom always telling me that when I was growing up <laughs> maple syrup have a spoonful of maple syrup if you're feeling you need some iron at certain times of the month Enjoy maple syrup. Like oh. that you can this the sheet pressure. was up on the thing ready to be put in but Carolyn touched it and it fell on her head and this was the result this extreme dent here <laughs> she says she has a hard head now i believe her i knew she was always a hard-headed person <laughs>
Just one more sheet to go on the main roof section and there are some that go on the edges around the sides but this is the last one we're doing right now, I think. Security system because of the docks they have. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So she'd seen my car come in, so it just came out to chat. And she goes, <laughs> I was so tired. She says I was in bed early. Uh -huh. Like I was teasing her because last night I didn't. Well, she she goes, I got to bed at nine o'clock. <laughs> she went to bed at nine o'clock last night. She said, Well, she didn't last night. Words of wisdom, Todd? Yeah, <laughs> I'll go over it closer and then you can hear the clock. <laughs> Thanks. Here we are approaching the last panel. Yeah, it won't really. We're going to have to drill our own holes. We're sad that we're almost done here. <laughs> no, I'd like to build another one if we could. <laughs> no, Arrow, no. We'll not be a customer of Arrow anymore. So we've done pretty good though from. 11 o'clock this morning till 3 30 now i guess oh my for most of this work but yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe we should how long had the neighbors had it <laughs> oh, well, yeah we're oh, hoping okay. this last panel doesn't cause it all to collapse <laughs> knowing our luck though well, although we got lucky reason. we'll just put the tape onto here yeah, put the tape in the wrong place. Was thinking it was going to be going over this panel, but it doesn't. Mm -mm. I got the panel. Oh, right. thunder! What we're doing is we're just uh, going to write down where we're going to put the last few screws because stuff doesn't line up, but that's okay because I think it looks pretty good. <laughs> not restarting. We're not restarting <laughs> at this point. No. No. What is is. Todd, are you able to hold this in place for me? Just Here. roughly, yeah, just roughly centered. Yeah. Makes you wonder how they built the pyramids to within three millimeters each rock. <laughs> eh? Yeah, I know. Stonehenge. Yeah, Easter Island. Big carved heads of stone. Yeah. Standing up. This is what we've devolved to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think humans are helping us anymore. Yeah, that looks good yeah, enough, right? Center. Yeah. Okay. Start counting too early. Oh, no, wait, there's six. Might get up oh, to six. 60. Five. Six. Five. Five. You wonder what. Whoa. Whoa. What are we going 
you with the next two days of our holiday. <laughs> <laughs> At least your mother Hooray! Can see you now. Hey, what, are, yeah. what are the left number 25 for? <laughs> what did you scroll <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>